Good day, it's me again, Felipe, your English online tutor, and we will learn something new today. But before we start, let me give you three letters out from my name that will serve as our guidelines. Those are F, L, and P. F stands for I want you to focus your attention on me. L stands for I want you to listen attentively. And P stands for I want you to practice what you've learned. And with that, let us start. We will learn something new today. We will be talking about modal auxiliary verbs. When we say modal auxiliary verbs, we are expressing either as a possibility or a necessity. A necessity or an obligation. Let me show you examples. Here are the modal auxiliary verbs. We have three examples of modal auxiliary ver verbs. Namely, they are the might, may, and must. But the question is, what are their differences? When we say might, we are talking about possibility. It, m it may or m it may not happen. When we say may, we are talking about a strong possibility. And we s when we say must, we are talking about a necessity or an obligation. It must really happen. Now to make everything clear, let me give you sample sentences. First sample sentence using the modal auxiliary verb might is that it might rain tomorrow so it might rain tomorrow or we may have a good weather we are not very sure second sample sentence for the modal auxiliary verb may is a strong possibility we may be invited since he is your friend so there's a strong possibility that we may be invited Another sample sentence using the modal auxiliary verb must, again when we say must, we are talking about a necessity or an obligation. Sample sentence is that we must go to the reunion. Okay, now here are the modal auxiliary verbs might, may, and must. Please remember what you've learned today. And with that, once again, my name is Felipe, your English online tutor. I want you to remember what we have talked about today. And right now, I want you to say goodbye and wave to me. Bye-bye. Thank you.